This video is for a Scorebot ER5 that's on sale on eBay. Uh, just to give a just small show, just to show that everything is working before shipping. Uh, you can check the date the video has been uploaded to make sure that it's within a day or two since the eBay posting. So this is a Scorebot, the ER5 version. Uh, difference between the four and the three and all the previous models is mainly going to be right here on the front display of the controller box. Here there are extra inputs, extra outputs, um, auxiliary power supplies for the systems and this one can be controlled by computer which I will show you later on in this video. And just to show that everything is working fine, uh, this is a teaching module that comes with the, the ER5s and basically we had just have uh, all the degrees of motion spin the base it'll keep going until it hits the the zero button the shoulder oh, wrong direction yeah and all the way back uh, and elbow this one they call it the pitch which is just really the wrist you could also spin the wrist and open it and close it Put it right next to the angle. And just to put it into perspective, the size of the robot. This would be an iPhone. Uh, mouth open is just a little bit wider than an iPhone. This is the 3GS. And standing straight up tall, it's about 30 in, 36 inches from base to tip. And it's got a pretty long reach. The... Another thing that I want to go over was this robot was completely rebuilt. I had used it for a project which will be linked in the eBay video. And these are all small little sensors. They're limit switches that have all been replaced and they're all working. The objective, the reason these need to be working is because of the limit switches that are going to be used later on for finding your zero position in the uh, computer section. Right, this is the second part of the video, and it shows the the scorebot, the ER5, being connected to the computer, and it shows that it does run and has no issues running with the computer. Uh, there's also going to be other videos a link that will show the actual robot uh, working on a program that I had made it, uh, that I had used for a, a project. And this auction does not include the computer, monitor, mouse, or anything. The only thing it does include is this cable here, which is an RS-232 to a 24-pin cable. And it's also going to include an activity area, which is originally designed for the ER3, but uh, it still works at the ER5. They're the exact same sizes, and including to that, it also has the guidebook for the ER3 and all the programs and they will be identical for the ER5. The only difference between the ER5 is that it has uh, certain limitations with uh, an amp meters so that you can't burn out the motors with an excessive amount of power and also uh, the extra inputs and outputs that won't be explained in that book. But all the activities there which are designed to program the arm itself will be explained. And now we go to the program here and like I was explaining before there are a few things we gotta do before the program starts which is to home the robot. All right, so here we go. The uh, the program takes a little while to load up, but uh, it's finished loading up right now. It just says the robot has not been homed. And this is where these new uh, micro switches come into play. And I'm gonna home it now. Home it just fi makes it find at zero position. And this is without anybody touching the computer or anything. So there, I just told it to start. Uh, nobody's touching anything, there's no controllers, there's no nothing. And right now it's going to find its zero position. You can see this part spinning right here until it hits a little, a little sensor in there. And there we go, that's at zero. And all the joints are moving perfectly fine. Half of the motors have been replaced. Uh, this motor here and this motor here were both replaced. And the program says it's still waiting. That's enough opening and closing. And it is completed. The homing for access seven 
uh, are these outputs down here. Again, I'm not entirely sure which they are, but everything should be explained in some of the manuals and online. And right now, just to show you that it does work with a computer, I'm gonna press one or Q and the base should rotate. There is a delay in the system because this is an RS-232. The objective of the computer program is that you create the program and the robot does the functioning for it. It's not designed to be a live program with a computer. And that was one of the limits. And that's the other limit. So what you just heard the crack right there, or what sounded like a popping noise, is actually the motor doing an emergency stop because of an excess of amperage. So that's one of the things that the ER5 allows that the ER3 doesn't have. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email me.